Okay, so it's about 7.30 Saturday, and uh, I had a long day, and I wasn't sure how if I would film this, but it, it was a long uh, and bad day because I found out my mom more than likely has pancreatic cancer, and so this morning, first thing this morning, uh, well, late last night, my mom was admitted to the hospital for... Uh, jaundice and more importantly they got a ct scan and, uh, and her blood markers were numbers were all really off and uh she got a ct scan and it showed two very large tumors in her pancreas and today uh you know first thing i went to the hospital my sisters were there all night i believe them and uh, spent all day with my mom and uh she had a couple of an endoscopy we had to have the biopsy done and we won't get the, the results for that but chances are it is cancer um, and the prospects of pan surviving pancreatic cancer is very, 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 very grim. And uh, this is part of the long way I want to say is that, you know, um, is keeping, my, keeping me accountable is that, you know, life, I've had a great life, and I knew this time was going to come. I didn't know how this was going to come, but I knew at some point my mom was going to be, get sick. And, uh, and I uh, knew that that was going to somehow, um, you know, obviously cause some kind of hiccup in the stuff I'm doing, which is a good thing because what I'm doing isn't sustainable. But enough about me. My mom's doing great. She, other than, you know, uh, the jaundice that she had in her skin, uh, she's asymptomatic. She's in good spirits. I appreciate every person that's been involved with my mom is, <laughs> um, as far as being honest with us, me and my sisters, and my brother, um, that, uh, that it's probably not too good of a thing. Um, they can't say yet because we don't have the test results back, but it's, it does, it's not looking good. I don't want, I don't want to be one of these people that gives myself false sense of hope and I don't want anyone else to give me a false sense of hope or any of my siblings false sense of hope because um, everything I know about pancreatic cancer is not not not, not good and uh, my wife my mom I was actually thinking, thinking the other day literally uh, yesterday morning um, my father passed away in mid May 2015 and that my mom will have made it nine years on her own and she's thriving and uh, it's just kind of ironic at the end of that day that she, we, you know, we get to kind of watch, you know, it, I, I, it, sure it's bad news, but like I said, she's had an amazing nine years and those people having spent four decades with their spouse or four plus decades with their spouse, uh, you know, might not necessarily fare so well. Well, my mom has, and she's had lived a great life and will hopefully continue to live a great life until the very, very, very end. And we'll be there for her. But I just wanted to share this with people because, um, you know, what what's going on with me right now is part of life. And uh, it's not all about working out and having everything go your way. Because um, life gets in the way of doing cool stuff. And I hope to share more of this tomorrow. I'll be back. My brother's spending the night with her. Um, I just came back from the hospital. I parked a few blocks from my house. And tomorrow morning, I'll, I'll go back to relieve my brother, and hopefully we'll get to talk to an oncologist tomorrow. Um, she'll, she's going to have another surgical procedure on Monday morning, um, just to kind of help relieve some of the bile that's backed up in her pancreas. And, uh, yeah, so we'll see. And uh, thanks for watching. And, you know, like I said, this is life. You know, I've had a great life. My mom's had a great life. And this is just all part of the whole thing.